quantifying expression at the transcript level with Blast2Go. RNA-Seq is a powerful technology for analyzing transcriptomes. The produced data can be used for numerous applications. An essential task is the expression quantification. Transcript level quantification feature is designed for estimating relative abundances from RNA-Seq data at both the levels of genes and gene isoforms. The following procedure is based on RSEM, which performs the analysis in two steps. The first step is mapping of the reads to the transcriptome, and the second step is the estimation of gene and isoform abundances based on the read mappings. This video shows how to create a count table with Blast2Go using a data set of six paired end RNA seq samples from bone marrow derived mouse dendritic cells. The Create Count Table tool can be found in the main menu under Differential Expression. The transcript level quantification option opens the wizard that allows one to define input data files. This application expects the sequencing reads in FASTQ format and supports both single and paired end data. In this case, since the example dataset is paired end, upstream and downstream reads are provided separately. Take note that files of the same sample have the same name, but with a different suffix appended to it, indicating if it contains upstream reads or downstream reads. A set of transcript sequences are required as a reference. This file is normally obtained via de novo transcriptome assembly. Therefore, a FASTA file containing the reference transcripts has to be provided. Gene level estimations option allows one to estimate the expression of both gene and isoform levels. Gene expression estimates are the sum of all corresponding transcript expression estimates. Results are provided separately. To use this option, a file with information to map from the transcript isoform identifiers to gene identifiers is required. Each line of the file should contain the gene identifier and the transcript identifier separated by a tab. For poly-A mRNA analysis, the application allows one to append poly-A tail sequences to increase accuracy, and to set the length of the poly-A tails as well. The Estimate RSPD option allows one to estimate a read start position distribution for better accuracy of expression estimates. The Strand Specificity option defines the strandedness of the RNA-seq reads. Non-strand specific refers to non-strand specific protocols. Strand specific forward means all upstream reads are derived from the forward strand. Strand specific reverse means all upstream reads are derived from the reverse strand. Click the run button to start. Once finished, two count tables containing the expression estimates are created. The first table contains expression estimates at the gene level. It has an additional column that shows the isoform identifiers associated to each gene. The second table contains expression estimates measured at the transcript level. This provides expression values of each sequence contained in the FASTA input file. It also has an additional column that shows the gene identifier of each transcript. Additionally, a result page provides information about the following. The transcript sequences contained in the FASTA file used as a reference. The properties of the input read files. An overview of the expression results. and the parameters used in the analysis. Different statistical charts can be generated to explore results. The library size per sample chart shows the total number of aligned reads contained in each sample. The distribution of counts chart is a box plot which shows the distribution of read counts per sample. The counts per category chart shows the number of reads in each input sample grouped by category. 
These categories include the following. Green indicates reads that have been assigned once to a transcript. Blue indicates reads that have been assigned to more than one transcript. Red indicates reads that have not been assigned to any transcript. The counts per category percentage chart offers the same information, but in percentages. Once the count table has been created, it can be used for differential expression analysis. Differential expression is used to detect significant differences in expression between experimental groups or over time. This video has showed how to create a count table in Blast2Go from RNA-seq reads in FASTQ format and reference transcript sequences, how to understand and adjust the analysis parameters according to the input data, and finally, we've learned some additional features to explore and evaluate these results.